Okay, talk about very briefly uh, drilling holes. Uh, there are a variety of methods to drill holes. You can use a hand drill, uh, much like this one. You can use a, um, a, a pistol drill or a kind of electric screwdriver, uh, electric drill kind of thing, called this one. Uh, or you can use a pillar drill, which uh, there's another video on. Um, so when using these ones, these are perfectly adequate for drilling holes, uh, especially if you're doing small ones in small pieces of wood. Sometimes it's easier to do that, um, especially in a busy workshop when machine, well, there might not be many machines. So uh, this uh, particular model here um, it has a handle. It goes round, which spins the end of the drill. Um, the twist bit will go inside the chuck, and you undo the chuck by holding this handle still, undoing this, and the three little jaws in there will get wider. And then once they're wide enough, you then place the drill bit in and do them up again, do it up again to rotate it, but this has to stay still. If you don't hold that bit, the whole handle just rotates around and it doesn't actually tighten or loosen the chuck. Now, the next stage is actually doing the work. I've obviously marked out my point already. Um, we can place our work on here and I'm using a bench hook to make sure I'm steady on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put, line up my twist bit here with the center of my hole and I am going to apply pressure downwards from the top and I'm going to rotate my handle in this direction. That spins the drill in the correct way to, um, for it to cut into the wood properly. And the reason I put my wood against my bench hook here is it means if my wood starts to spin, it should hold it in place and not move. Okay, once you're all the way through, just pop it back out again. And that is your hole drilled. Okay, effective enough for just drilling holes in wood as you need them. Um, 